լրագրության ոլորդում դու գրեթ է չեք հանդիպի լուսանը կարչի, որը նկարում է ժապավենի վրա։ Դա այսպես ասաց անցած դար է, իսկ նա նկարում է։ Անցած հաղորդմանը հրավիրել էի բելգյացի Եոհանես դեկատին, նանք միասին են աշխատում։ Այսօրվա հյուրս նույնպես բելգյացի է, նրա անունը էմիլ վանդեն աբել է։ Նա ունի կեղծանում, պետրովիչ, մի փոքր ռուսեր են գիտի, ես է մի փոքր անգլեր են գիտեմ, բայց երբ հավիրեցի հարցազրույցի խնդրեցի մարին, որ թարկմանի, կանի որ մեր զրույցը մասնագիտական արումով տարբեր հարցեր կարող էր ընդգրկել և ոչ իր ռուսերենը, ոչ էլ իմ հայերենը չեր հերիքի այդ հարցազրույցի համար։ Եմիլի լուսանկարները բելգյայի եվրոպական թերթերում են տպվում, շատ հետաքրքիր ձերագիր ունի։ Միայն մինչև հաղորդումը սկսել է, մինչև հարցազրույցին անցնել ասեմ, որ դրանից առաջ խոսում էինք հերախոսների մասին, ես ասացի, որ ես էլ նոկյաների սիրահար եմ և նիկոն պարի փոխար են, ես ոգտագործում եմ ա Սա ինչ է լրագրությունը հաղորդումն է ամեն չորեք շապտի, վեցանց տասնհինք կարող եք դիտել։ Ես աշխատում եմ, որ ամեն շապատ այդ հաղորդումը լինի, հրավիրում եմ տարբեր լրագրողների և կարող եք ոչ էլ լրագրող լինել, Նաև մի փոքր երևի մերնող մասնագիտության մասին, այսինքն հմտությունների։ Մասնագիտությունը ինքը չի մերնում, բայց դասական լրագրությունը երևի փոխարինվում է այսօրվա ավելի շուտ սոցիալական ծանցերի մեծյայով ե� ձեզ կհետաքրքրի էմիլի հետ հարցազրույցը, հենց այն արումով, որ եվ էմիլը և յոհանեսը, կամ մեր ուրեմ են հայերենով հովիկը զբաղվում են հենց բուն դասարկան լրագրությամբ, երբ կարդում ես, երկար հոդվածը և մի այդ թերթային ժուրնալիստիկան հետ է մղվում, իրականում մի փոքր Հայաստանի ստարբերվում է, այնտեղ այն ու ամենայնիվ տպագրվում են թերթեր, ամսագրեր և դրանք կարդում են։ Դե ինչ սիրելի բարիկամներ, բարև ենք էմիլին և Եմիլ բարև, ինչ ապարատներ ունես, ինչ լսանք արջական ապարատներ ունես? Please tell me what kind of cameras do you have? It's all film cameras. So it's, how to, Pilonka, it's all physical film. I'm too stood. Can you please show me? I mean, the rolls is like this, it's before. After development, after the chemical process, we get this back. Is he my art room? For or am I from Kanishna art room? Which brands do? Which brands make films nowadays? It's only Kodak. Yeah, no, there's some smaller, but actually, yeah, Kodak has like a monopoly right now. I'm in Kodak. I can't show poker. I'm not able to. But monopoly on Kodak is not. Is the apparatus in my heart? Is it? 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 Is it
Uh, please tell us how many cameras you have and please show them. Mm -hmm. oh, how many of here or in here? Here, here, here. Uh, to me. Uh, I Just think show show and tell what camera that is. Okay, this, so um, I will start chronologically from how I bought them or how I got them. Um, with this camera I learned actually everything. So this was my first camera ever. Like. So I'm this Is it Nokia? No, it's a Rolle. You can see it. Uh, Rolle. Oh, Rolle. Is that the ones that we call Mulnica? Yeah, like the soap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who makes them? Which country? It's all, all my cameras are Japanese. Uh, uh, yeah, with the German lens, with the German lenses, yes. Yeah, my Do you even need me, guys? You're totally fine. <laughs> no, so um, my grandfather, who was German, uh, had exactly the same way back. Um, but it's a, yeah, his, this one was broken, so I bought actually a new one, and I started to learn because everything from photography is just. On here you have your aperture, your sharpness, and um, how to say it, um, your exposure time. Yeah. <laughs> Հերավորության <laughs> 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 Like a long set light meter. Um, yeah, but it's in my car. <laughs> I thought you were <laughs> um, Yeah, of course, because uh, these two, yeah, this there is a light meter inside, but I don't use it. I have an external light meter, and there I also have an application on my phone to measure light. Okay. But now I got so I'm already photographing for like so long that I actually I created a feeling I can very accurately like feel how much what the exposure will be so sometimes I just do it without lightning yeah, he wants to ask a professional question to you. In uh, modern days, now, mm -hmm. uh, that many cameras uh, have all of the different functions just done automatically. If you like, I'm sure that the first thing is that the first thing is that <laughs> and uh, everybody just can take uh, pictures uh, very quickly and mm -hmm. several pictures okay, just one after yeah. another. Yeah, but you use film uh, mm -hmm. cameras. Uh, you don't have unlimited shots, mm -hmm. and also you need more knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, 
so, do you do that because it's just your interest to use uh, older cameras or film cameras mm -hmm. or you want to find uh, or uh, found something new? <laughs> found, what do you mean by found something Start like base, have the, uh, put the base for something new. Right, I don't like so. A foundation. Foundation on like to move to dig digital yeah, like later. Maybe you want to find a new style. Ah, like this. Yeah, something like that. Um, no, there is like multiple reasons. I, I next like actually never uh, photographed with a professional digital camera. Um, I learned it by film. It's how it's like my way of working uh, because if I start photographing. Um, on film, you don't immediately have the result. Like everything right now is so fast-paced. Um, on film, uh, you have to wait sometimes for weeks to see the result. So when you're photographing, you're already thinking more about what do you want to tell, how do you want to tell it, is it worth actually? Because I mean, the best way to condition yourself is if it costs money. So. Do you think, like, is this shot worth uh, letting it develop, getting it scanned? Um, so the process of uh, photography is starting before you take the picture. When on digital, you can take like thousands of pictures in, in an hour and then the process is later of making the selection, you see? Yeah. That's, yeah. Yes, uh, Uh, next is the first SLR single lens, lens reflex that I bought. It's a Nikon, it's like the press camera I think of the 80s, 90s. So Nikon F3, I think if you look at uh, like a press kit of like a photographer in the 80s, uh, 90s, this one was definitely their, their go-to professionally. So yeah, it's got like an internal len um, light meter, so basically it's just shoot and forget. Like you just make sure that uh, you have to concentrate less than on, for example, these other ones. Uh, yeah, so that's really because here you also look through the lens. Um, it's really if I, yeah, for example, for, for now doing this work with Johannes, I really needed like a camera that you know you can really exactly put sharp. Um, yeah, just a professional camera. So. This is my press. Can you take shots of microscopic things with this camera or macro photography? Actually, for for uh, I've never tried it. Um, but for this camera, I mean, I think 
all Nikon, I think even modern Nikon lenses, Nikon has like a standard lens fitting. Mm -hmm. So you can, like, there's s um, so many different kind of lenses, uh, different styles, Marco, uh, Miko, like, you have everything. So it's just like what you want to do. Like, you have also for scientists, they used to use this to make uh, yeah, photos of, of flowers, of, 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 and then they use different lenses. I just have a lens kit, also, again, like, basically uh, a basic press kit is like a portrait lens. I mean, I don't. I, I, I'm I, I'm not a professional photographer, so I'm I got my own style, um, but like a 35, 50, yeah. and a 24 I have, so very wide until like portrait lens. 35, 50, and 34. No, uh, 24. So I'm going to start. So 24 is the widest one. 24 is like. Let me translate all what you said. Yeah, sorry. Yes, I put jump but. Vanaine, Bor Nikoni Linzanera, Ulizana Mutk, Bolo standard chapin, I skin is down your country the Saki Linza than I had a well photoskivera, Gadalini macro, Gadalini micro, U for Sakelon, and by the kick to Morana, who is professional Rosana Garis Chem, yes, no name stealer. I skin calls it San Chors, she wants you to continue. In job, San Chors. On the lenses on the body? On the lenses. Ah, that's not from the that you said. 24. Ah, uh, 24 is the widest. It's yeah, almost, almost fish eye, like really, it's, oh. it's really wide. I, I'm not so, the such a fan of it. For example, it's 24 is nice to shoot like uh, in like groups. Like for example, we did a story in Ukraine about ch uh, children, and mm -hmm. uh, with the 24, when you're really in between these these groups of children, they were planting trees. It's so wide, and if you focus on so so, you, it's nice to stand close to your subject to be able to tell a lot but apart from this maybe inside a car it can also be interested but for, apart from this i find it too wide it's too too much information too <laughs> <laughs> not too much no and then 35 is the standard 35 is a bit as a reference is it's almost like if you just look um how wide your field of view is that's basically around the 35 and Tarapes, Xanchor says, Hamarne, were a shot line up, but you're not making you want to say it for Ukraine. I'm making it a hundred in the home car, Tarre in Tankum, Mancus making as the car, shot the shot in a hundred kind. Udramar, born like a tecum, a slizan, a shot hammer, but as the model must cost to be a thing, no Taramani, Jerevuma, Abochumba, Erevuma. But Tarapes must follow the Kiram, she's got her shot line. I scorn a garrison hinger. Can you please show us the other cameras? Other ca but maybe a little first. Um, so I have two, and that's also a reason. <laughs> two of the same? Yeah, exactly the same. Uh, it's uh, you have different emotions in film, like the um, sensitivity of your film. It's like ISO, you know, like ESO. Mm. Um, so I have one that's always here is uh, ISO 500, and here it goes 50 or 250. 50 or 250? Yes. 250? Yeah, well, 50 or 250. Okay. So it's because, yeah, you cannot change film once there's a roll inside. And when it's getting darker, I need a more sensitive film. On daylight, I can shoot on 250 or 50. That's basically why I have two of the same. It's as camera, I personally up very new in then, and change, but get quite what I'm making. But I saw I saw him on the other end. Give us his own chart. I think you can also. It's a different, different color, you see. It's a different color, it's a different emotion. Uh, 
Ես տեսնում եմ, որ տարբեր են այդա լուսանակ արջական սարքերը, այսինքն ինքը նիկոնի սիրահարջի լրիվ, որով հետև նիկոնի սիրահարները միայն նիկոն են ընտրում, բայց մյուս ապարատը մոցոր վուջի է։ I see that you have different uh, photo equipment mm -hmm. and I see that you don't only have Nikon because mm -hmm. I know people who uh, are like fans of Nikon, they only have Nikons. <laughs> For example, people who tend to like Nikon, they don't use Canon, they don't buy Canon. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm speaking about a professional photographers. Uh -huh. And I see your, you have also Fuji? Yeah, but that's a, um, that's a different like caliber of cameras. <laughs> this is this film if you see so this is 35 millimeters. Um, you can see that the bodies of these I mean that's basically that's 35. Um, this one is 120 so it's this kind of film. So the the, the frame the negative uh, it's better if I show actually the, just the negatives. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. maybe it's uh, if you film towards the light, or I don't know how it's uh, how I can show it best. Mm -hmm. You can take your album in your hands if you want to. Yeah, but I want to just take it. <coughs> Oh. So this is a different section. Ah. So this camera, but this 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 made from another camera. I think. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's that's, uh -huh. that's. Yeah, that's it. So maybe you can see the negative. How it's 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 like I mean it's five centimeters or something. Mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. That's, I mean, if you scan this on a, on a uh, like a Frontier or like a Imacom scanner, you can make prints that really, I mean, you can go big with this. You can also make posters with this? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, mm -hmm. this is really, this maybe it's a better image if it's, so actually on the back, you would mm -hmm. imagine the, it projects the image like this, so uh, this is really it's nice for taking landscapes and even afterwards because it's such a big photo, you can choose basically what you want to show afterwards. You can zoom in a bit. Um, yeah, that's just thirty-five. Mm -hmm. So you see the 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 cartons the carton there. Mm -hmm. Հանկարվերություն է։ Uh, so, who does the printing? Is it harder to print films nowadays? Uh, you mean to develop, to, to process the chemicals? No, she means uh, whenever the photos have to be printed in a newspaper or in a magazine. Hmm. Or for an exhibition. Uh, actually, from the moment uh this is scanned so from the moment i i mean i got this from the lab everything is digital so uh from the moment it's scanned the process is actually ex exactly the same as with a digital camera i just send them by by email and we transfer <laughs> Uh, so you scan the film? Yeah. So, uh, can you tell uh, about the uh, Fuji camera a little bit more? She's interested in knowing what year, what year is it from? Uh, is it fully Japanese or is the lens German again? Uh, 
Who about the specifics? I didn't. I think. Uh, I mean, it's probably written on it. I think this is completely Japanese, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Yes, conference on both Yeah. About where the lens is made, I don't know. Um, it's also this camera. Uh, this lens is fixed, so it's only one lens that fits. I mean, it's 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 the whole system of this camera is actually inside the lens. Mm. So the, the, the shutter, the, the aperture, uh, this camera is actually only the lens and then a black box. That's it. This photographic lens is a little bit of a mechanism, a box mechanism, a photographic lens image. So there's no light meter, there's nothing, it's very basic. Just yeah. <laughs> I'm hurting Spartas, and it's worth a bit of a problem. You can answer to the part where she asks which year is it from. Which year? It's the last generation with Fuji here with two. I have to look it up. I would estimate, I think it's from the 90s. Yeah, I don't know what it's like, but it's him and I. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can look it up. This game can't change how much did you buy it for? Do you remember? And uh, where did you buy it from? Uh, I bought it in Germany, I think for 500 euros. Germany, I think in Korea. I think in October, so it was used when you bought it. Yeah, all my cameras were used. I mean, yeah, the oldest camera here is maybe 50 years old. So they, oh yeah, you cannot buy film cameras new. I mean, you can, but why would you? I mean, they're, they're tools. They, you use them. <laughs> Asmogoro <laughs> 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 What is that? It's just oh. just to show that these are our pictures. I mean, I don't think there is many. I don't think there is anybody publishing with analog photography nowadays. Mm -hmm. Just to prove that we have published, printed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, analog to specify that I don't think there is anybody doing like journalism. Uh, I mean, nobody's going to Ukraine with an analog camera. I mean, except for the guy where I learned it from. But, uh, people were really calling me crazy or like stupid because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I was watching the Ukraine and 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 Developed why, film. Why do people think that you're crazy? Um, because I mean, it's way more risky yeah. and complicated to do it uh, on, on analog. And now, I mean, if you take pictures, like a photographer is not, as a photographer, a professional photographer, um, especially in journalism, like you don't want to take this extra risk. Also, having to find a lab, um, it's all extra work. I think that normal photographers d don't want to do, but we're doing more slow journalism, so I think the kind of photography fits this uh, way of journalism. Um, so is this more an art or a craft for you? It's more a craft. craft? Like it's a, a, like ambacht. How would you say ambacht in English? Ambacht. A craft. A craft yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was just in Dutch word. It's a craft because mm -hmm. you also. I mean, the way I photograph the style, I also learned it uh, from uh, Peter Jan de Pu, another photographer. 
and it's really more like a traditional yeah like a craft that you learn from somebody else uh, I mean of course you can take courses on this on schools but um, the way I learned it it feels more like a craft than art I would guess yeah in Hamara Valishata Arhest, Khan Arhest, the Hashiran of Tibon Semes Sovorel, I guess Hamara for Sabishat Arhest, I can I chomek it Sovores, oh, at Peschomeki Ashakir the Espesas as Linus, Yanit Sovores, Tish the Purser Khan, but this is Pescham Sovore. In Cassette, Volin Carter, Unit Zeragir, Fortnite Zeragir. Imagine that you already have a star, what's your star? Analog. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, I think my style of photography fits a bit well with Johannes' style of writing. It's, a, I think, a more personal, classical style, not too artistic, documentary style. Um, that's how I would describe my style. Yes, I think it's a dasa kan voje. So you mean it's the classic classical style? Yeah, um, it's a documentary documentary photography style. Ah, yeah, documentary is a good thing. Is it so hard to see documentary style? Have there been exhibitions? Uh, uh, for documentary photography, and uh, have you ever won prizes? Yeah, of course. Uh, I think documentary photography, I would well, even say it's one of the biggest styles, but yeah, there's lots of press prizes or like, yeah. Um, have you ever won Ah, prize? me? No, 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 no. it's about me. Have you ever been in the exhibitions and have you ever won a prize? I had an exhibition about our work from Ukraine, a small one. I've never won a prize. Also, not never participated in uh, in for a prize. I mean, I'm not really interested in it. Can <laughs> 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 Can you ask Yet for Hastanum and Kaluma inch Nairan had a hit Lusana Karel, Mart Kans, Beisage Nere Incha. So she expects you to elaborate a little bit more when you answer on this question. Mm -hmm. This question uh, How long do you know about Armenia and uh, what do you like taking photos of more in Armenia? Portraits, mm -hmm. uh, maybe landscape. Uh, um, I think uh, the first time I was in Armenia was around when I was, I think, 10 years old, something like this. And since then, uh, I can translate first or... Ah. Uh, since then I went a lot uh, with my mother. Um, what, I, what, what springs to... the first thing that springs to mind for me as a photographer in Armenia is that whatever way you point your camera um, I mean, of course, not in the cities, but still in cities, it's, it's always going to be an amazing shot. <laughs> uh, so even if you do portraits, uh, the, even if the background, like the mountains, or it's not sharp, the color palette is, is just very beautiful. It's got a, yeah, I mean, uh, Johannes was also saying this to me when, he, when we drove just through the landscape. Um, there's, yeah, just the color palette of the Armenian rocks, the mountains, the trees, it gives like a very beautiful canvas to 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 do your photography. Yes, I just now came to my hometown. That's the only thing. My kids had. Yeah, the only thing that they shot on camera was the part in Hayastan. Lusana Karu Pahov, Hayastan. The man that we found only work on the shooting of camera. We have only love for the stars. Te dimane karne, te peizaj nere. U khantine na vaj dat inchi aperens vala fetev gunain yeran nere gui nere hens. Shat lavnen te haga kan kareli sareli zareli bemutian. So yeah, this combined with interesting 
road or direction that Armenia is going makes it for me one of the favorite countries to come to a big project to photography. Of course, uh, yeah, the movie directors, yeah, yeah, of course. So, uh, the way you described it, uh, do the colors that they use in their art, Mark Yosan and Sergei Parajana, do the colors uh, remind, uh, remind you of the nature itself, in reality? Yeah, um, I mean, if you're talking about them, they also, I mean, in that time, of course, you shot on film and uh, the combination of the colors in Armenia combined with film is like, I mean, yeah, you can, you can, of course, you can recreate this digitally, but if you, yeah, if you can do it so easily with film, I mean, yeah, of course, yeah, the, the color palettes of their films, of course, yeah, they, they, they remind me of Armenia. Ayo, Irans Guinera, Chesmanit Hastani Masin, Yesu Masel for Hastani Guinera, Gumaraz Japavena, and Jamana Kerian Japavana in Fidman in the Karum, yes, the other one of Parajan in Masina. If Gumaraz Hastani Guinero, Gumaraz Japavena, that's me, yes, Yana Liatu. Hmm. Have you been uh, to the region Lori, uh, where Parajanov shot one of his films, The Color of Pomegranate? Yes, to Stepanavana was, and then I went a bit. Uh, yeah. And then I went around, yeah, I went around a bit in Lori uh, to visit a monastery, and yeah, yeah, I know the region. Ardvi. Ardvi, yeah, I think it was. Ah, yeah. 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 And it definitely, uh, I mean, it's been a long time since I saw Parajan, uh, but yeah, um, definitely when I turn back, I will uh, watch the films again uh, just to get a bit back here. <laughs> Um, sorry, it's very interesting. I promise to ask you only two more questions. No, 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 no. I, I have got time. Take your time. Take your time. So as we're speaking about Parajanev, uh, did you also know that he? Uh, did you know that he was also considered a Ukrainian artist, and he made some art in Ukraine as well? Ah, okay. Films or, or art? Uh, or the year Kusner. Both. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I want to add something from my set and oh. also Georgia. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what did he make in, in, in Ukraine? What films? Was it that? What film in Ukraine? I the Shadows of Forgotten Ancestors. Yes, I'm, I'm actually, I think um, it's filmed in a house in the, in the Carpathian Mountains, right? I was, uh, we filmed, uh, with the documentary film, we filmed in the same house. <laughs> I am just a fan of Pajan. Yeah, yeah. Make a yeah, so um, we made a scene that um, a subject, uh, one of the main characters of this documentary, um, she gets introduced into the story of the documentary about uh, from a with, from a babushka, like an old lady, um, and it's all filmed in this house. So we. Did it? It's also a documentary film. On, on, it's filmed on 16 millimeters, also on film, uh, and we did it dark. But we also only wanted to lit it with uh, natural light. Uh, so we bought about I think thousand candles, <laughs> and the whole house. I mean, it's in the it's in the middle of nowhere in the in, in the Carpathians, and uh, yeah, we put the floor full of candles just to get 
a little bit of light enough to shoot the scene and that was in this house and uh, from the ancestors of forgotten history or something i think yeah Sh he said shadows of forgotten ancestors something like this yeah 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 uh ha dano in dumna vor dani khet film nekarela zer nishatu aintegh mek nekarel mi tesan vortegh es vaveragakan filmi herosneits mek pek ke khoser inch vor tatiki het ու մեզ պետք է բնական լուսավորություն, բայց խնդրեն որ այս տունը ուղակի մեր դեզոսած աշխարի ծերում են, մի խոսքով ոչ ման չկար կողքը կարպատներում, դրամար մենք երևի մոտ հազար մոմ ենք վարել գետնին, որ կարողանանք � If I'm, if, I'm, if I'm talking about the right film, Ancestors of Forgotten History, was it? Shadows of Forgotten Ancestors, no. Yes, yes, that's what it says. Yeah, Shadows of Forgotten Ancestors. Shadows of Forgotten Ancestors, yes. Did I translate it correctly? I just want to check if it's really in the house, um, because I know there was one famous film um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it was this house. Yeah, and it's Shadows of Forgotten History yeah, in this house, yeah. so we filmed in this. Yeah. It's in, yeah, so it was in this house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So a random question turned out uh, to be connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know the film, I know the house, every film there also. But yeah. So wrapping, up our, so, so what wrapping up our interview, I want to thank you that you agreed to, to this interview. Pleasure. <laughs> Uh, so, she basically asks, <laughs> whenever uh, nobody makes films anymore, when Kodak stops making films, mm -hmm. producing them, uh, what are you going to do? Are you going to stop doing photography or are you going to buy all of the films available <laughs> for you and just store them? Um, first of all, I don't think they will ever stop um, because they have a monopoly and there's still a market. There are still LPs around, you know, like uh, um, LPs. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. Uh, I think film will always have a place in, like, in, in our culture. But if, but if, yeah, then this style of photography, I mean, this will stop. <laughs> Maybe on this way, no. Maybe on a, I will find a different. But the way I'm doing it right now, here, um, I don't see... yeah, no. That doesn't mean that I will stop completely with my projects. Maybe I will then turn more to documentary and filming. But um, like how I'm doing it right now, if there wouldn't be... If tomorrow, I don't know, the main factory of Kodak gets blown up for, for some reason and they don't have film, yeah, then this will stop. <laughs> Ես չեմ դարդարես մի զբաղվոր ուսանակարջության պանդ հանրապես, բնականաբար, բայց են ձելով ունց ինչպես ես անեմ դա հիմա, դա կդաթարեցի։ Եվ հել չում մի ժապավան։ Ուրեմը ծանկանան որ չի դաթարեցվի, շնորակաղ
So thank you once again. No, my pleasure. And make the inch for the apparat more at the next time. Did you forget to show one of the? I can't remember. No, I showed them all. Oh my God, it's the smallest one. The smallest one I showed in the beginning. Huh? Was it that in the box there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I took it out just to show it. So. I'm into hard to make, yeah. Now, it's not about our things. We're going to make a new. We have some kind of more remila. We have a stand and have. We have a new genetic. Hosun Lusana Karnerov. Arrange my scanner. Uh, that's all for today. Um, she hopes that she will show Armenia in a very uh, in photos that have character. Mm -hmm. I will definitely, yeah. <laughs> Do you have anything else to add? No, I think yeah, I think it's everything. I mean, you're the journalist. You're asking the questions. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, uh, thank you and hope to see you again soon. I hope to. Um, I'll definitely, I mean, I will definitely come back to uh, Armenia. I have too many links. <laughs> too many times. Yes, we're laughing. She's happy with that.